Well, with pressure rising and no clear path forward, President Obama, as you just heard, has begun inviting lawmakers to the White House for meetings to discuss the government shutdown and raising the debt limit. Okay, Kyle Schmoyer joins us live now with the very latest from Washington, D.C. Kyle, what's the story? Well, Logan, you know, you've heard of the Texas two-step. I think they're going to soon call it the D.C. two-step because it seems like every time we take two steps forward, they take two steps back as far as the government is concerned and getting it back open here in Washington, D.C. As you were saying, the president has extended invitations for lawmakers to come here from Capitol Hill over to the White House to talk. It started with the Democratic caucus today with a meeting about 4.30. Tomorrow, the, gov uh, the president invited Republicans, all of them from the House of Representatives, to come to the White House. But we learned late this afternoon, John Boehner, the Speaker of the House, says only about 18 will come and meet with the president, those being the leadership and high-ranking committee members. Well, the White House released a statement saying the president is disappointed in that. He wanted everyone to come. So as you can see, they can't even agree on a meeting and all of this as we're almost a week and a half into this government being closed. Day nine of the partial government shutdown and more of the same. Lots of arguing, little action. There's only one person in uh, the country who is keeping the government shut down, who's keeping us from having a clean debt ceiling increase, and it's the Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. And while John Boehner and President Barack Obama have had short phone conversations this week, the Speaker wants negotiations, the President wants the shutdown over. He remains steadfast in saying that the government needs to open unconditionally, the debt ceiling needs to be raised unconditionally. Only then would the president entertain cross-party negotiations. The Senate Majority Leader backed that up today. Basically what we've been saying is the speaker and my Republican friends should take yes for an answer. We're ready to go to conference. We have simple, simple requests. Open the government. Let us pay our bills. We'll no negotiate on anything you want to negotiate on. The debt ceiling deadline is October 17th. There is some thought on Capitol Hill that a short-term solution, maybe six weeks, could be passed to open the government and raise the debt ceiling. And then the real negotiating can begin on a long-term deal. Political analyst John Hudak calls that course politically viable, but ultimately disastrous. If we start having budget crises and debt crises every six weeks, the problem is not it's not a spending problem, it's not a taxing problem, it's a governance problem that is being brought out by individuals within government who, who don't see a need for real solutions. One sign this could be the best option for Congress, the House leadership, Democrats and Republicans, met for a closed-door meeting Wednesday. The individuals who help control or have control over the individual members are getting in a room, they're talking, they're getting their ideas out there, they're not standing in front of cameras, they're not using talking points, it's just men and women in a room trying to make some progress, and that can't be a bad thing. And that meeting over at the White House with all of the Democrat caucus, we hear the president told them that he is willing to negotiate with Republicans once this government is back open and the debt ceiling is raised and we're out of trouble there. But he says, quote, he won't do it with a gun to his head. We heard from the minority leader of the House, Nancy Pelosi, saying there after that meeting at the White House, she doesn't know what's going to happen next. Logan, back here on the Hill, we are hearing that the House side, well, there is no bipartisan talks going on there right now. But on the Senate side, there are serious bipartisan talks going on right now. And the Democrats may be looking for a way to advance legislation to raise the debt ceiling by one year into 2000. 14, no strings attached, but you know there's a lot that needs to come of that over the next couple days. We will see tomorrow what happens when this group of about 18 Republicans meet with the president over at the White House. If we get more rhetoric or we start to get a little action and movement to get the government back open and avoid default. That's the very latest live from Capitol Hill tonight. Back to you, Logan. All right, Ebrews Kyle Schmoyer reporting live from the nation's capital. Thanks so much for that report.